pilots. Hey pilots, yes, Hobbs here and I am back. Can you believe it? I managed to get me a little headset. It's nothing too fancy, it's just a kind of a temporary replacement. It's like a twenty dollar headset. In fact the microphone can't even reach my mouth. I'm if you can see my face right now and see how I'm wearing it, you just laugh hysterically because like the head the headphone that has the actual microphone on it is like on my cheek just so I can actually reach the microphone around so you can actually hear it from my mouth instead of me having to like speak really loudly and have to boost the gain on the microphone a lot and then I just sound all weird and distorted so yeah this is just a temporary thing I'm probably gonna get like a you know $60 Turtle Beach really nice uh, microphone in the future but for now since I got a microphone I can do this stuff again and have fun with you guys so yeah I mean it's a temporary fix but hey it's better than nothing and alright, yes, uh, as you can see from the game here, you see me in my Reaper mech with a slug rifle and I'm doing a missile assault on the bunker map. And uh, you can see that we're kind of down a little bit at first, uh, but you know, it's not too problem. Oh, by the way, I don't think I've ever told you guys, but like, the Sharpshooter and the Reaper, those are two of my worst mechs. Uh, well, comparatively to all the other mechs that I play, I mean... You know, you've seen me play other mechs, but I have to say, out of all my mechs, the Reaper and the Sharpshooter are not my best, mainly just because I'm used to using explosives and not, like, you know, pinpoint accuracy rifles and stuff like that. It's just not what I'm used to, but then, you know, I the, my favorite out of all of them have to be me using the slug rifle on all of them. I've already told you guys, I love the burst damage, and for some reason, when I'm trying to snipe and I got, like, the RPR or the uh, SA Hawkins, like, some of these sustained... Uh, excuse me, the sustained fire long range weapons. I just don't seem to do as well, so I usually tend to stick with like the slug rifle. Well, yeah, you can see me doing some work here, and you know, actually, right now, trying not to die. You can see me trying to do this other reaper. Ah, yep, nope, I get taken out. RPR. Yeah, I was way too low on health. There's no way I was getting out of that. But yeah, you can see me in the reaper trying to mainly keep my distance, like mostly harassing people, going around, trying to. You know, I, I try to avoid close quarters combat when I can. You know, I'll scope in to try and shoot people. And then there's also one thing that, like, I like to do is I like to fire the slug and the sabo together. However, I like to fire the slug rifle slightly before the sabo rifle because you want to get that burst damage so really quick, like, bam! Like, have all the damage impact them at once. I mean, you know, it may not be enough to kill everyone, but it might be enough just to make them uh, duck away. And you can see right here, I'm trying to get up close foolishly, and I have, my aim is, like, horrible with, like, the slug rifle and uh, the... The SA, the KE Sabo at that close of range. In fact, somebody else had to finish off that last like 10 HP on that Berserker for me because my aim was just so horrific. So, yeah. So, you know, you can see when I try to get overly aggressive in my Reaper, I start missing shots and I'm horrible. But yeah, you can see me playing uh, Peekaboo a lot. In fact, the way I play my Slug Reaper is like, uh, it's kind of like my Flak Scout, except maybe, you know, I don't have nearly as much. Uh, I have to be much more accurate because of the slug rifle and the KE Sable. I have to hit what I'm shooting at, otherwise, you know, because there's no, there's like very little spread on them. Even so, it's only like one bullet and there's no explosion, so I have to have pinpoint accuracy. You can see me kind of quick scoping in really quick every now and then to try and get off, uh, you know, get a little bit of extra accuracy and a little bit of extra damage. And yeah, but yeah, my Reaper's definitely not my best. I think in this game, I don't know what I was thinking. I think I was just gonna like take it easy and just have a little bit of fun. So I just decided to go with the Reaper. And yeah, this is definitely not my best mech, but you can see that we're a little bit behind. But, you know, there's nothing that, uh, that can't be fixed, but yeah, this is Missile Assault. So, you know, we're, I'm trying to do my best to try and defend uh, the points from the enemy team, you know, going around harassing them. You don't see me trying to secure kills too much, like you can see me, I guess I spot someone over there trying to repair up. And yeah, I, I try to go in, I go in, bang! I can kind of close quarters uh, battle with the... Uh, with my Reaper, although it's a little bit harder because I gotta be, I still have to be patient with my shots, but when you're that up close, it can be really, really hard to be patient. And so, yeah, that's why I tend to have a lot of missed shots because I'm good with sniper weapons if I take the time to be patient, then you can see me here popping the ability. Not because, uh, like with the RPR and the Amsar, it's pretty good because then it'll reduce the spread on all those weapons, on both, well, both those weapons, but the slug rifle, even when you hip fire it, it doesn't have a lot of, uh, uh, spread to begin with, so, you know, it, the main reason why I used it was to, so that my KE Sable wouldn't miss when hip-fired, because the KE Sable's accuracy when hip-fired is not very great. You can see me, I was trying to, you know, uh, corner poke on that bruiser right there, but then uh, he had a buddy show up, so I was deciding, nope, that's not a good time, and then I come back, and then, bam, take him out with my slug rifle, or KE Sable. 
Now, ironically, I have to say this match, uh, I actually wasn't trying too hard. I think, uh, like I said, I just picked it to have my, my Reaper mech just to have a little bit of fun. That and kind of practice on it. I don't know how I was doing so well. I mean, I only died that one time because I was super low on health, and then a Reaper with an with a RPR was able to catch me, so I went so I went down pretty easily right there. But then you can see me like just getting off pot shots on like on a lot of people. But yeah, I don't know how. Um, I mean, I won't spoil the results of the match, but. Um, yeah, actually, we're behind right now. But yeah, I, for some reason, I was actually doing fairly well for a Reaper. I, yeah, I was like mainly hanging back, trying to support my friends where I can, sticking around, harassing all that. Justin Bieber, or Bustin Jeeber, I don't know what it's made of. I was trying to get Oh yeah, there is that other Reaper who had got me before. Ah, well, I didn't get the... Oh yeah, Rocketeers. I was trying to really watch out for uh, the Hellfires that he's launching at me. Okay, yeah. Staying behind a hill, trying to make sure I keep my cover because I got a lot of burst damage when compared to the the Rocketeer. Rocketeer's got a lot more sustained damage, so if I was like, well, uh, okay, he's trying to get over me. Boom. Just try to give him a couple of good shots. Yeah. Sometimes also, it's like, I, you don't always have to, uh, yeah, okay, he went down. You don't always have to fire both of them together. Sometimes what I find is that if I fire one after the other, like, I go slug, then KE, sometimes one might miss, but then the other will hit like when I'm trying to finish somebody off and so that usually helps because yeah, if I fire both at the same time of course you know if I miss well hey I just wasted both shots but yeah all right let's see what's coming boom oh yeah there's busting Jeeber again <laughs> uh seriously name so I don't know what he was thinking trying to go up against multi yes I got him awesome I didn't miss that shot cool all right oh yeah there's a bruiser again ah man bruiser and a rocketeer right over there so yeah I really gotta watch out for hellfires but yeah on this map like, hellfires are just like, you know, almost never ending. Yeah, I'm, I'm always, you know, I'm just trying to do my best to keep my distance from like CRTs. I do not want to get too up close to these guys. Although he uh, made the mistake of, I don't know why he thought flying was a good idea. He just made it really, really easy for me to just shoot him. Yeah, that's my good. And, ah, uh, no, I didn't get him. Dang it. I didn't get Justin Bieber. Or Justin Green. I don't know what the hell. But yeah. <laughs> There's a bruiser, and then there's someone right behind me. It's just like, oh yeah, the rocketeer got him! Ha <laughs> ha! With both the slug and a key. No, oh, more people. Ah, crap! Getting low on health there. Uh, oh, jeez, man, I barely got away with that. Whew, man, I'm that close. Uh oh, no, 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 people, people up there. Yeah, I was just, yeah, I'm just running for my life at this point. I just do not want to get caught. And, oh, luckily, I was able to repair. Luckily, the Reaper's a quick little thing, so. I, went, I didn't get caught right there, but yeah, that was probably one of the closest calls like I've had in the game. I don't know, wow. I managed to get, like, I'm like second place on my team, and my team's actually starting to win, although we are, we don't have most of the silos at this point, so, eh. And then that guy's got a shield, so we got all fucked up. Shields are great, but when, you, uh, when you're a sniper and you're too far away from the shield, eh, it can get really annoying. But, okay, let's see. Oh yeah, there's way too many people over at Silo 2, so I'm going like, hell no! Yeah, Reaper's not going to be able to take on that many people. Hell, I don't think an assault could. But then I see very few people over there. You can see me trying to get through that uh, bruiser over there. Seeing if I can push him away. Yep, I pushed him away into the bunker. Just had a dirt moment, I looked right into the rock, trying to get on the cap. See that rocketeer in the distance? Ah, I missed! Yeah, my aim, I will admit, my aim's not 100% perfect. I was trying to see if I can maybe go around and get that Rocketeer, and I have this uh, CRT trying to, you know, follow me around. Unfortunately, I got into a close quarter battle with him, and I was just trying to lead him around, get off a few good, good burst damage shots, and BAM! Got him! Oh shit. He must have, uh, yeah, he must have, like, fired a rocket just before he, di he died. Yeah. yeah, he got me. Oh well, I still got him. Like, I dominated him for, like, a second, and then, nope, toe rock. From the grave, toe rocket. Oh, well. I still won that. I still say I pretty much won that fight. <sighs> oh, well. I mean, considering that I was in a Reaper, dueling a CRT at that kind of range, I think I did pretty good. And then there's that Rocketeer, and I can know that other Reaper's right behind me. He's fallen from my shield trap. It's amazing. Boom! Yep, got him. Back in the shield. Oh. Uh, 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 oh. I got the detonator on him, but then... Let's see what happens. Ah, nope. Ah, uh, he got me with the RPR. Oh, well. Like, I almost had him. Like, if it wasn't, yeah. Slug rifle versus an RPR in that kind of range. I'm surprised I did as well as I as I did. I mean, because like I said, as a Reaper, I'm horrible. 
for some reason, it's like you can see me kind of maybe thinking to switch right there, but I guess not. All right, trying to see. Boom! I got him. I don't know why people think it's a good idea to fly for a ridiculously long time. It's just you're just asking to get shot. Although that berserker, he's smart. He had an air compressor, so he knew what he was doing. Yeah, he got away from me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try and get a berserker up close. So I just took a shot from far. So you're gonna try to get the high ground right here. That's another CRT. Alrighty. Yeah, he's getting above me. Yeah, he's not paying attention. And yeah, I've actually, if you haven't noticed, I tended to switch out the detonator on a lot of my item it, uh, setups now. Yes, I got him! Ugh. I love it when I get kills because it's it's because it's stupidly hard for me to get kills in a sniping mech because, like I said, I'm horrible. Yay, I got another one! Alright. <laughs> and it was. Oh yeah, my items. I still have the shield and the repair charge, but then I, you know, for I decided to toss out the hologram in favor of the detonator. Because sometimes, like in some defensive situations, it re that little bit of extra damage can really help turn the tide in my enemy. And yeah, I uh, activated the ability right here to make sure that uh, my thing didn't miss. And BAM! He should not have given me that shield. He just made it way too easy on me. <laughs> then I'm just repairing all over his corpse. And oh, there's that guy. He's coming. Although he's smart. He didn't try to get in the shield with me. I was just waiting for the shield to go down. I got off a nice free shot on him. And then I'm just corner poking around with him on the rocks, and I'm hardly taking any damage. He must have taken a ton. That, and I'm just going through. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I was gonna go capture Silo 3, because that's the only one missing. Yeah, actually, this game is really close right now. Let's see. Yeah. Yep, I got a good shot off on him. Got a slug and a sable into him. Now, right here, I was trying to see what I could do, but, yeah. I probably could have scoped in right there. Boom! Got him a couple good hits. Then he hit his ability, so I waited for that to fade off, so I could strike him. Yes, I got him! But then there's two mechs coming for me, so I'm like, nope, I am out of there, and narrowly, narrowly got away, and it led them right into my team. That was, yeah, another really close call, call on my Reaper. I just say, Reaper's probably one of my better mechs running away, aside from my scout, only because, you know, I try to keep my distance and so not, but yeah. Oh, I've had plenty of close calls, and <laughs> that guy saw me repairing, he's trying to go right for me, I don't know what he was thinking, he only had like one shot left, just boom! I just took him out right there. Awesome. <laughs> Apologies if I sound like I'm a little bored with this. It's not that, it's that. It's just, you know, I've had kind of a long week. Like, as I told you guys, I'm trying to look for jobs and uh, trying to get back into school and all that. It's a little stressful, so I, I am a little bit more tired than I usually am. Normally, I'd be, you know, if you saw my Fat Raider video, I'd be off the wall, you know, screaming all sorts of craziness and stuff like that. But, yeah. But, hey, such is life. Life can be tough at times. But enough about life. Let's just talk more about Hawken. Oh, uh, yeah, speaking about Hawken, I know I still owe you guys, like, tutorial videos, like, how to move in mechs and, uh, internals and stuff like that. I'm probably gonna figure out how to do that, uh, movement tutorial and stuff like that, because, believe me, I've noticed a lot of the problem that most people have is that they don't quite know how to move in Hawken. Uh, it's, it's, I could probably explain it a bit more in the video, but trust me, it matters a lot more than you would think, so keep your eyes out for that, and I'll be showing you guys some stuff on that pretty soon, and yes, I will come out with an internals video, eventually. Uh, but yeah, it should be coming up pretty soon. I don't plan to keep you guys waiting forever. I'm just glad that I'm able to record my, uh, videos again. And there was that one little fun project that I said I was going to do. It was going to be me making a video without me actually speaking the commentary. I'm going to be using commentary from other sources, but, you know, uh, I don't know. That's a little bit of a surprise, so you, you'll eventually see what, uh, that's going to be. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. I managed to win the missile assault, and yes, I actually got first place on my team in my Reaper mech, which I suck with. Which is a bit of a surprise, but you know, if you guys like what you saw, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do what have you. And you know, I'll see you guys on the next one. It'll probably be a tutorial or just, you know, another episode of me uh, slugging out. But this is Hobbs signing off.